time though. Hello guys, welcome to another one of moment on finals. We bring you the best and nothing but the best. Now, official like, over the course of period, we've been on this video with similar issue. He's moved from different club and all that. And yet today, it's, it's, it's all about the media that Osime has no club as of now. Now we're talking about that no club they come for an official. Like, what do you have on us? What do you have for us on this particular Osime issue? Uh, yesterday we came, we saw the the sporting director of Napoli came yeah. outside to say that. Uh, Victor Osimi and his agents yeah. have made have made it known to them officially that he wants to leave Napoli. That he has okay. made his intention known since last end yeah. towards the end of last season, yeah. the beginning of the preseason, and yeah. currently again as of yesterday, he came to meet them with his agent. Yeah. That his stance still remains the same. Yeah, he, he wants to one hundred percent leave yeah. Napoli, and they are looking for various options to resolve to this issue. Yeah. The point is, over the course of this production, we have reported that. Uh, we needed to pray for Sime that the yeah. problem was Victor Sime's side. Yeah. Be like saying that Victor is showing up all the pepper now. You <laughs> understand? We'll pray for yes, now. Yes, because from our, according to our sources, we have fresh updates. That is yeah. why we are here. You okay. understand? To give our viewers, you know, final which we give them the best I'm not and nothing the but best, the best. Yeah. You understand now? From what our source told us yesterday yeah. that we yeah. can confirm is the fact that it is the other way around. I think it is Victor Sime torturing Napoli, Napoli at this point because okay. he signed. A two-year contract with him as a last season. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. So they gave him a huge salary. Wow. You understand? He's the yeah. best earner in Syria. Yeah. Yeah. More than Lataro Martinez, okay. the, the hot prospect. We know how Lataro is. Yeah. So the point is, it was out of greed. Napoli yeah. gave him the two-year contract so that they can sell him for a high fee, a high fee which yeah. is the one hundred thirty million in his release clause now. Yeah. But they, 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 are, they, they, they ought to put. But since they were offering, they wanted to put that clause in his contract. Victor Simeon and his agent negotiated for high salary okay. that's the high the best uh, pay in the, league, yeah, in the league which it was uncomfortable for napoli but i accepted yeah. because they were going to put his release clause at 130 million pounds because yeah. they felt that immediately the season ended many clubs will come into play him. to yeah. buy him but now he's on the other side because uh, trap yes now that's exactly the point because now <laughs> clubs are coming now yeah. after they have agreed to what napoli is saying now yeah. now it remains uh, to agree with the player side the player and said. and according to our source and according to what we can confirm yeah. you understand we can confirm this victor simia has said no to any club coming to negotiate with him on his salary that his salary will remain intact, intact yeah. if he's moving to chelsea he's going to be the best earner yeah. of that club yeah. and he asked me the four hundred fifty thousand pounds he's the best earner in syria yeah. imagine four hundred fifty thousand pounds i think the similar. person earning that much in premier league was the game was somebody the game yeah. when he was at manchester united, manchester united i think yeah. the best earner in premier league is kevin de bruyne yeah. you understand too he said if he's moving to any club they have to pay him four hundred fifty thousand pounds a week now on the on the negative side is the fact now that um Napoli now, regardless whether they play him or not. Yeah. So if I abide by the rules and regulation, you have to pay him week in, week out. Fuck. You understand? The, yeah. You understand what's going on now? So, Ozik oh, and his agent now don't mind Victor Simeon sitting out his contract yeah. for that two years, but get cool cash for four hundred and fifty thousand yeah. pounds. Who does that? Free now, cash. Yes. Now. You even work for him. Yes. Napoli <laughs> now has agreed to the deal of. Can you? Can we see a way where you go to where you go on loan? Okay. You understand to, yeah. to clubs like Arsenal and, and Chelsea, and Chelsea, which yeah. that is not a problem. But okay. the problem still remains that when it comes to personal terms, Chelsea are saying we are trying to reduce our wage structure. Yeah. The highest earner in Chelsea is Ryan Sterling with 225,000 pounds. Yeah. And we are trying to reduce our, our, our wage structure by yeah. eliminating the likes of Ryan Sterling. Sterling yeah. You understand? And, and now, now Simba is coming up with this kind of food. This kind of food amount. Work now. So it's not going to work. It won't work. And definitely Arsenal won't match this kind of pay. Yeah. So I think it's, it's the other way around that yeah. um, Osime is torturing man uh, he's torturing napoli, napoli now yeah. and like i said this agent him and the agent don't mind sitting out the contract for the yeah. next two years yeah. we'll get cool cash our our, our name still remains the same everybody yeah. knows i'm a quality striker after yeah. i run out of my contract i can easily choose and sign for any club, for any club. setting an example of what Kylian mbappe did yeah. two years contract to Rima to to, to, to to psg, PSG yeah. and he said okay i'll stick in my salary you understand i'll still be you guys sporting director to whenever do you know yeah. Kylian mbappe currently sued PSG for him salaries almost amount to 200 million one million dollar one million pounds wow. you understand in salaries in salary. you understand wow. so so i think it's the other way around on nigerians were saying okay is it because of the adverts with finidi is yeah. it because of his character no no what, what, what that is to his advantage it is his advantage now yes. because it's any cool car so yeah. no matter what you guys say as long as it, it, it maintains the rules and regulation of napoli yeah. turn out to training yeah. at the right time which osime is doing he's currently doing, now yeah. Come, it's, so it's left for them to play yesterday now we saw they started the uh, coppa italia season and everything yeah. he was not even on the bench yeah so he doesn't care 
You okay. understand? So it doesn't yeah. care regardless of what happened. So I think Victor Sime is actually wise. <laughs> and you know, I've been blaming this agent. I want to see agent get in club. You know, I told, this is more of Niger 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 So whatever it goes, so Victor Sime is on four hundred and fifty thousand pounds a week, and what? he's not ready to negotiate decrease for any club. <laughs> the another 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 official, like, official like, if not me, I don't they go again. I will remain in Napoli and let point. my full cash. That's I don't I don't want to play again. Let them just pay my money. I, I think this this brings back to the memories of what happened between him and Napoli, Napoli. about the TikTok saga. Yeah. You understand we saw that train that time how he yeah. was angry with his teammate. Yeah. They are demeaning and everything. How Napoli issued uh, apology and everything. I know things will see me forgive them. Okay. You understand? So yeah. this time around, it is time to call it back because he's 25 years old. In two yeah. years, he'll be 27 years old. He's still in his prime. Yeah. So he can actually get his desired move because uh, Kylian Mbappe was, a, ma uh, was a, a boy that had a dream had to a play dream. for yeah. who? Real Madrid. Yeah. Did they achieve that? Yes. Did they force the move? Yes, he yes. forced the move because PSG wanted to wanted to be hard in negotiating by signing five years contract yeah. and we'll flip your price by around 250 million pounds. Okay. We saw that and Kylian Mbappe uh, and Osimhen is trying to avoid that saga. Right. Another thing is Chelsea came out for a two-year loan with obligation with, to buy with a Lukaku swap. swap you understand now which Napoli were looking to accept yeah. but the wage okay now Napoli now Unago, Napoli Chelsea and Atene Napoli will split this salary 450 yeah. into two Chelsea can pay 300 why you pay the remaining 150 which is still at the detriment of of Napoli, of Napoli because yeah. eventually now Napoli wanted to use him to make money would yeah. they use to make money as it stands no yeah you understand now? So, anyhow, is and Victor Simi as, as, as a player on that contract, you have the right to reject any offer that comes in. Yeah. You understand? So, it, I guess that the club can do for you is just to sanction you sanction or buy you. Yeah. Sanction you doesn't mean in terms of funds. So, now, probably the, the most you to the unders. Yeah. I, I think that's the only thing uh, they, they can actually yeah, do for me at this moment. Yeah. So, I just want to say, why is one from, uh, from Victor, Victor Simi? Yeah. You understand? He's still maintaining his stance on the salary structure. Whether we like it or not, the Afghan qualifiers are around. He will still see matches to play. Definitely. If you not like Napoli, use me. If you not like, me. use me. For my 450, like, we still remain. So I, I think it's a nice one for Napoli. So we are just here to bring them that update concerning uh, of Victor Osime. You yeah. understand? Whether we like it or yeah. not, Victor Osime is good. I haven't won the school later with Napoli. Exactly. Like I exactly. said, Napoli are just a hard team to negotiate with. I think this yeah. is pure greed. Yeah. You understand? This is pure greed. Using a black man. If we saw what happened against uh, with Kulebali now. Yes, they almost finished that boy's career before Sandy, before Chelsea. You said they almost they finished they his finish career. Him, yeah. The time they wanted to buy Kulebali was Manchester United before they went to Harry Maguire. Yeah. This people inflated the price. As at that time, Kulebali was the best centre back in the world. In the world, yeah. They, they they inflated the price until nobody came for no, him. It was after two yeah. years, Chelsea came for him and bought him for a whooping thirty-two million pounds. Okay. Then after one year. When he started telling, when we yeah. saw that he, had, he was done, so it was done before yeah. we shipped him back to Saudi Arabia. Okay. You understand? Unless when he came back to the Afghan and he did what, 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 what he did and everything. Yeah. But not regarding, I think Victor Simi is actually wise. Okay. On this, the one. only thing I just want to tell him is keep his behavior in check. Yeah. No para for anybody. No para for anybody. Taku, you stand up. Stand up. No para. No insult anybody. No savvy. I know say speak Italian as well. No saying so little Vico, just do your thing. Abide by their rules because now it's on thin ice. Yeah. So they are looking for a way to remedy the crash. The crash, yeah. You understand at all? So yeah. I think I think that's on it, and I think that's. Oh, a good this one. I don't turn up only for Neko. You don't turn up for official. I thank you so much. Thank you are you wonderful today. Now Vito Oxime on the bright side is a wise one for Vito Oxime. Official at Nigeria break. That's Nigeria break. No great. <laughs> you don't turn up only now to waiting. They don't even imagine. Just imagine uh, uh, Napoli. Uh, or see me sitting on the bench and collecting this whooping amount of money. Pounds. It's, cash. A cool Easy money. Cash. it's a cool money. It's a cool money. It's a cash. Um, well, I agree with you. Oh, see me, I don't agree for anybody. <laughs> now, this is our time of finance. You should not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you feel about Osime's contract with Napoli and his move to any other club in the comments. You're not for the show me that handle at final whistle. Nice, I'll see you again next time. Thank you.